autonomous robots and drones, AI video surveillance, and so much more. We're in America's biggest security tech showcase, taking a look at the coolest tech and trends that will redefine the security industry at ISC West 2024. We've all seen those solar-powered mobile units in the parking lot of our local Walmart or our shopping mall. Those are from a company called Live View Technologies. But what I bet you didn't realize was that that company incorporates a cloud-based, cutting-edge AI platform in their technology that allows for real-time analytics and threat detection. So our units are trailers that have solar panels on them. You've probably seen them in all of your local retail, big box stores, or even fast food restaurants is where you commonly will see them. It'll have cameras and lights and speakers and different types of things, and they typically have this blue flashing light. Core piece of it is artificial intelligence that's using all the cameras and the sensors that it has to be able to detect anomalies and these threats that are happening within those parking lots. And to take that automated response without a human ever needing to be involved. But if it has to escalate to a human, we're providing that intelligence so that that human can make a very quick decision on how they want to solve that problem. This is an example of where a car would come in and is casing a parking lot and, and is going to find a car that it wants to get into. So as you can see here, the analytic is, is looking at this and saying, okay, this behavior does not look normal. And when it reaches a threshold where it says, yeah, that car has parked, and it looks like that person's gonna get out and try to, to, to uh, smash and grab in that car, you'll actually see the unit here detect that Boy, and actually go into a deterrence, right? Um, where an audio talk down occurs, a floodlight comes in, and basically they're saying, okay, yeah, I've been caught, I'm just gonna go ahead and go somewhere else. One of the concerns that the general public would have on a solution like this is, is this big brother watching me? And nothing could be further from the truth. First of all, it's our customers who are deploying these units. These are extensions of security systems they already have within the building. They're just trying to provide that safety outdoors. We should be able to be living in a world that's, again, safer and more secure. So that, that's the goal that we have at the end of the day. Next up, we have Acelon Robotic Perimeter Security. They essentially take those cute robot dogs that you're seeing everywhere and they actually finally give them a job. Working in tandem with aerial drones and ground robotics to provide a full 360 perimeter security. Let's talk to their founder and see how it works. Our core belief is that the future of security is taking the human expertise, but then adding on robotics and AI. And that blend is really what provides the most efficient solution. We have drone dog here in the dog house. Um, which is a ground-based solution in partnership with Boston Dynamics. And then we also offer Drone Sentry, which is a drone in a box solution. So using robots to run the fence line, respond to alarms, doing a lot of the mundane tasks, the dull, the dirty, the dangerous. How does Acelon see itself differentiating, sure. differentiating itself from the competition? Absolutely. Yeah, so it's twofold. The first is we are the only platform that offers both air and ground in the same combined solution. The second is our operation side. We do everything as a service. And so when you subscribe with us, we are operating the robots, we're ensuring compliance, everything. The customer at the end of the day wants the data, they want the analytics, that's what we charge them for, we take care of everything else. What do robots do better than human security guards? They, they never call in sick, we have much lower blackout periods. Um, you know, robots don't sleep, they don't eat, they don't care if it's hot or cold, um, they just go out and they, they do their patrols every day, day in and day out. In a landscape of scary drone dogs and humanoid robots, SMP Robotics represents the softer, almost childlike branding of fully autonomous security robots. It looks more like something that would be in a Pixar movie than a security robot. So the easiest way to explain it is what a security guard would normally do, but giving them human powers. These robots are fully autonomous. They're powered by NVIDIA. Jetsons inside are really churning all that data. We're bringing that up to the cloud to make sure that security professionals at the local level have actionable items to work with. We're utilizing ultrasonic sensors to make sure that all the safety features are there. It's understanding where it's at in the world, but also creating a 3D map of its environment at all times. Some of the cool features that we actually have is 360 degree cameras, a PTZ that is gonna give you thermal and as well as speakers that we can actually utilize to talk to a potential assailant. One of the things that we utilize to really ward off individuals is 
this megaphone that's on it up to 145 decibels. They're running 24-7 actually in the Santa Fe School District. They're integrated right there with the children. It's been great. We have a ton of use cases like that. Next up, we have Ambient AI. Ambient AI calls itself a computer vision intelligence company. The way it works is that it can instantaneously detect 150 different threat signatures and it allows users to conduct video investigations up to 20 times faster than just scrubbing through the raw video footage as a human. This is a propped open door. This is where the magic of AI happens. So come on in, I'll follow you. We came in, you basically had an authorized person entering through a propped open door. You didn't have a badge, you decided to walk in. I mean, come on. What happened is AI picked the fact that you didn't badge it. If we had people carrying bags and stuff, you would also automatically get that. But in real time, the AI is gonna say, this person carrying a bag, this person exiting with the bag. So the AI video detection is able to flag all of these various you know, potential things we don't want us to do and then immediately notify in you that they've happened. In real time, notify, and then not only that, it will automatically dispatch, start an incident report. It will do all of that. There's a lot more that happens after you do the detection. I want us to fight in front of the cameras. So you have to come okay. close a bit, right? And then land a punch. And when you do that, I'm going to fall down. Boom. You shouldn't have, Josh. <laughs> you shouldn't have. When people fight, people fall down, uh, you have all these alerts in real time as well. Do you want to brandish the gun? 100% I want to brandish the gun, please. So go ahead. Yeah, okay. No. Person brandishing firearm detection. There you go. That's unbelievable. And with just one button, I could do a lockdown. So now lockdown means I am preventing more victims to come into harm's way. They can no longer get into the building. They can get out. They can still get out, but they cannot come in. I Officer. Trouble. <laughs> so, so unless you have the law enforcement, and they often have a master key. You're causing trouble here. Not, not anymore. Uh, not, not anymore. anymore. Right. Yes. Cruiser badge doesn't work. His master key works. I understand for hardware, you're partnered with NVIDIA. So the NVIDIA is the hardware. The deep learning models are open source models, but the training is where we are differentiated. You say that the choice between security and privacy is a false dichotomy. Can you explain what you mean by that? There are enough prospects who will come and say, how do you guys do effective AI if you don't do facial recognition? They believe that for an AI solution to be very effective, you have to intrude into somebody's personal space. And we have a proven product that shows that that's not the case. This is Cobalt, an indoor security robot that's part of a really interesting security ecosystem that combines autonomous robotics with human support. This is a fully autonomous security robot. It's mobile, it's self-docking, very similar to Roomba, has 360 degree vision, it's got tons of sensors on it, looking for anomalies for people in areas where they shouldn't be, for heat signatures that don't belong, overheating batteries, coffee pots left on. It's looking for water leaks. Uh, it's listening for any kind of a spike in the, in the audio. So broken glass, gunshots, screams, things like that. Born on the robot, we developed a, a software called Cobalt Omni. So we decoupled it from the robot, made it a standalone package, and now we can also monitor all the stationary cameras, the badge readers, all the access devices, the door sensors, the window sensors. Everything is machine detected and human verified. Do you mind if I get a little demo? Absolutely, please touch the screen. All right, let's do it. How you doing? I got a little emergency. There's this guy with a great big camera who keeps following me around all day. <laughs> oh man, I'll escalate that right now and hopefully we can Get him to stop following you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of information is being fed to you on that side of the screen from this unit right here? Can you tell us a little bit about that? I can see uh, from all six cameras on the robot, 360 degrees. There's also a seventh camera uh, that gives me your thermal readings. I can see if there's a lot of CO, uh, carbon monoxide in the area. So if things are getting a little dangerous, I can have everyone evacuate. Thanks, Steven, I appreciate it. I'm gonna give that a thumbs up right there. Thank you very much. Boom. 
This is Indoor Robotics. They actually won first place out of 40 companies for drone and robot solutions for security. Basically, we manage fleets of autonomous robots, whether it's drones and then later on ground-based robots that are going to automate security, safety, and maintenance inspection workflows in different types of facilities. So when we started the company, uh, we wanted to manage different fleets of robots, but there were no really available autonomous drone you know, solutions that could work indoors. So we actually developed Tando, our own proprietary indoor drone solution. The control bridge is really the software that manages the fleets of robots. It creates the maps of the indoor space. This is where you set missions when you put them on a schedule. And most importantly, is the brain of the system where we run our unique AI-based algorithms to provide customers with insights about what's going on in their indoor spaces. We can detect if people are standing or lying on the floor, maybe they are in distress. We can detect if doors are open or closed. We can detect if there's leaks. If there are thermal anomalies, maybe indicating potential risk of fire. Why drones over robots? The drones are better, and for several reasons. First of all, drones navigate in three dimensions. So, for example, a lot of our facilities that we operate in are warehouses. But even office spaces that were installed, you know, there's obstacles. A drone very easily can actually bypass those obstacles and continue its patrol, while a ground-based robot will not move a chair. Maybe you want to look at a specific window or a specific meter or a specific device or a duct. I mean, a drone can actually go 10, 20, 30 meters, you know, up in the air and do high inspection, which a, you know, a ground-based robot uh, can't do. We are operating after hours, so we're not operating around people. So we're not kind of invading a person privacy. So during the day, the robot is docked on the ceiling, maybe it's docked inside a box on the floor in a warehouse, but then after hours, it goes and collects the data, not violating privacy and still providing the customer the access to use kind of the best in class, you know, sensing and analytics to cover and monitor their facilities. Tell me about Secure Redact, what is it? Secure Redact takes in images, video, and audio. We then look at that footage. We have an AI system that finds the personal data that's in there, so the faces and the number plates. And then we blur those out so that the innocent people that are in the background of the footage have their kind of freedoms and privacy protected. And so we have one solution that will fully anonymize the footage so that you can never get the footage back. Um, and what the beauty of that is, it actually exempts you from a lot of the data privacy legislation and policies. We also have another solution where you can do it at a lower level and then you can anonymize everybody but then you can de-anonymize them after the event and so if you're in a big public space you could collect lots of video footage everyone would be protected by default but then if something bad did happen then you could get a warrant you could then get the decryption key and you could then see someone in the video but now we're seeing a bunch of new use cases coming in lots of citizen journalists who are posting footage from the streets onto youtube and places are now using the technology to make sure that Whilst they're doing their broadcast, they can protect everybody in the background. We have protesters who are on the streets protesting in certain countries who are anonymizing footage so that they can share what's really happening in real time on the streets without basically endangering fellow protesters. And so what you're seeing here is a live broadcast of our stream. Um, at the event, where we're challenging people to see if they can beat the blur. And actually, no one's managed to do it yet. Okay, so I have to try to beat see, the blur yeah. here. Okay. Yep. And so we had someone doing a somersault earlier. I don't know, can you do a somersault? <laughs> oh, oh, we. Uh, right <laughs> can't beat the blur. Can't beat the blur. <laughs> Every single frame in the video is overlapped with the anonymization, the blur we have as well. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's been really eye-opening to see just how big the world of commercial security products really is. And beyond that, how many niches there are that I had no idea even existed. I think it's pretty obvious to say that AI has had a major impact on this industry. It's everywhere integrated into most of the products. And there are major implications that arise from that integration, not the least of which is our privacy. But what do you think? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be coming at you with lots more coverage from conferences like this in the future. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.